hello students i am manoj kundare the assistant professor of electronic science welcome back to our e learning platform in previous video we have seen the second unit of the subject instrumentation system now in this video we are going to start the third unit of the subject named as smart instrumentation system and smart sensor we know that the basic idea about the instrumentation system an instrumentation system is the system which is the collection of physical objects connected in such a way to get the required output for given input conditions that means the instrumentation system is a collection of the physical object to get the desired output okay such instrumentation system is termed as intelligent or smart instrumentation when the system is made capable of automating the process by feeding software and capable of communicating processing storing of data etc that means if the instrumentation system is able to automate any process or communicate process store data by using the software then it is called as the smart or inst intelligent instrumentation system thus the system is said to be smart instrumentation system when it includes microcontroller or microprocessor and communication interface that means if we want the instrumentation system to do the work of automation or communication or processing then it requires a special block known as the microcontroller or microprocessor and the communication interface if the system includes the microcontroller or microprocessor and the communication interface then we can say that the system is a smart instrumentation system i hope you all understand the basic idea about the smart instrumentation system or an intelligent instrumentation system now let's see the block diagram of the smart instrumentation system the smart instrumentation system consists of sensor analog to digital converter that means adc microprocessor or microcontroller transmitter receiver data acquisition system and antenna as shown in the block diagram this is the general block diagram of the smart instrumentation system in which we can see here there are number of blocks like sensor adc microcontroller or microprocessor dac that means digital to analog converter if we want to transmit data for a long distance then we require a transmitter and the transmitting antenna similarly at the receiving side we require the receiving antenna and the receiver then we require the data signal processing block and data acquisition unit now let's see some other details about the block diagram the smart instrumentation system is basically divided into three parts input section conversion section and output section generally sensor and adc is the input section microcontroller and dac is conversion section and data signal processing and data acquisition is the output section the transmitter and receiver the transmitting and receiving antenna are used for the communication or transmitting or reception purpose let's see each section one by one the first section is the input section the input section consists of sensors and adc that means this is the input section the sensor measures the process variables the process variables may be pressure temperature flow etc and convert it into 
electrical signal. We know that the function of sensor is to sense the physical parameter and give its equivalent electrical quantity. This electrical signal is converted into digital by analog to digital converter block. This digital output is then fed to the conversion section. That means the sensor senses the analog input or the process variables like pressure, temperature and flow and convert it into the electrical signal. This electrical signal further converted into digital signal by using analog to digital block and this digital output is then given to the microcontroller or microprocessor that means to the conversion unit. Then the conversion section contains microprocessor or microcontroller which will process the signal and convert it into the transformable format. That means the conversion section contains microcontroller and microprocessor and it process the signal and give the transformable format. If we require the analog signal again then we use here digital to analog converter. It also contains memory to store this data. Now the third section is the output section. It consists of receiver, DAC, processor and data acquisition unit. This section converts the data into analog form if required and also stores the data for the future use. The trim adjustments were done by ADC or DAC and the range adjustment were done by the processor. That means in output section the data is processed further and data is acquired and it is converted into the desired format. I hope you all understand the basic block diagram of the smart instrumentation system. Now let's see the advantages of the smart instrumentation system. First one is it reduces the installation and startup time. It is easy to change device and expansion of the system. It improved the local intelligence, intelligence in the device. It can store all the configuration and status information. It has higher efficiency and speed and it is easily upgradable. I hope you all understand all the basic things about the smart instrumentation system. Let's see once again what is the smart instrumentation system. If, if any instrumentation system contains this block that means microprocessor or microcontroller for processing for automating any process for communication then the system is known as the smart instrumentation system. In this system there are number of blocks that means for sensor the sensor converts the physical parameter into its equivalent electrical quantity. This electrical signal may be in analog form to convert it into the digital one we require the analog to digital converter. The output of digital analog to digital converter is a digital form and it is given to the microcontroller and processor block for the further conversions or further processing. Then if we require the data again into analog form then we use digital to analog converter. If we want to transmit the data then we require a transmitter and antenna similarly at the receiving side we also require an receiving antenna and the receiver. If we want to transmit data for a long distance then it is easy to transmit the digital data hence we directly transmit this digital data given by the microprocessor through the transmitter and 
we receive this data then we use the digital to analog converter for the further processing now at the receiving side we require the receiver and the data signal processing and data acquisition unit to get the original signal back okay i hope you all understand the smart instrumentation system and its block diagram thank you